Hello again everyone, this is Tim Buell for GottaBeMobile.com and I'm back with another video tutorial for you. Today's topic has to do with what happens when your iCloud backup does not seem to be completing or is taking an unusually long amount of time to finish. Fortunately, there's a couple of easy quick ways to sort of check where the issue lies and a few troubleshooting steps you can try at home before you head to the Apple Store for some help. iCloud is a very good backup utility in the sense that it always is working behind the scenes when working properly. The way it's supposed to work is when the phone is plugged into a power source and is connected to a Wi-Fi network, it's supposed to do a full backup of the entire system at the same time every single day. Usually most people will actually have this happen and it's more often than not when they're asleep. Now, if you get an alert that your phone hasn't backed up in X amount of days or things don't seem to be backing up if you're actually watching it, you may be experiencing an issue. Believe it or not, the most common problem with iCloud backups actually has to do with the storage. All the accounts come with five gigabytes free, yet for most people, that's simply not gonna cut it because of the amount of media that you need to back up. Fortunately, they allow you to upgrade the iCloud storage for pretty inexpensive rates, 50 gigabytes only running you 99 cents a month, which is about the same as you purchasing an application every month. Try to do the backup again after this point and keep an eye on your iCloud storage and see if the backup's able to complete. Now, the other option is you may have enough space, but you might have old iPhone backups on there that you haven't deleted from previous generations. Just like on your iPhone, you can manage your iCloud storage right from your device and take a look at actually what is being backed up per iPhone that you have connected. If you don't have space there and you notice that there are some older devices you no longer need, deleting those backups should actually get you in good shape without having to upgrade any additional storage. You may not be having a storage issue at all. It could be a connection problem or even some software corruption within the iOS. Reconnecting to your Wi-Fi network and ensuring the iCloud has a connection is a good place to start with that, but also performing a hard reset by holding the home button and sleep-wake switch for about seven to 10 seconds will also reboot the phone and allow you to try that backup again. If you still aren't getting success with these steps, a restore would probably be the next best option, but we wanna to try to preserve the way you have your phone set up as long as possible. If you have any additional issues, don't hesitate to reach out to Apple Tech Support, but hopefully you found these tips helpful and we got your iCloud working again.